Portions of Colorado and Company contain paid content. Products and services featured are not endorsed by Colorado and Company. Good morning. Welcome back to Colorado and Company. I'm Denise Plant. You know, there's nothing better than seeing your baby smile for the very first time. A group of Denver area mothers bonded together after having babies born with cleft lip or palate defects to help raise awareness and provide financial assistance for other families. I'm happy to welcome Valerie Myers. She's joining us with more on this year's Dash for Smiles. And by the way, it was her birthday yesterday, so happy <laughs> birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk on a serious note about the cleft um, the cleft lips. How does sure. that occur, occur and happen? Um, there's no real known cause for cleft lip and palate. Um, it can be a genetic um, problem or um, it can be completely um, spontaneous. They don't really know. And how many children are born a year with this? On average, one in 700 children are born with wow. cleft lip and or cleft palate. Is there a lot to be done to repair something. Look at this. Is this your baby? Or? This is not. Okay. This is one of our participants that comes every year. Before and after. Look at that. It's truly, truly amazing. What's done to repair the cleft? Uh, usually a few months after birth, the lip is repaired. Um, between nine and 12 months, the palate is repaired. And then throughout a child's life, they could need several more surgeries based on um, their bone development. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of surgeries involved. If they don't get it fixed with the cleft lip, are there any more serious effects that can happen physically to them in the future? Yes, even if they do get them repaired, there's often um, speech um, impairments, mm -hmm. uh, dental work that needs to be done. Um, for the babies, there's um, feeding challenges oh. for them. So yeah, there's a lot of complications that go along with it. So walk me through it. When a child is born and they have a, a cleft lip, or a cleft palate, mm -hmm. how are they medically treated? Well, they, uh, we're lucky here in Colorado, we have two huge cleft lip and palate teams at Children's Hospital and Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. Um, and it's a team of um, professionals that work with that child. It can be um, orthodontists and surgeons and um, speech therapists and a, an entire medical team comes together to provide them the, the services that they need. So um, we are lucky here, mm -hmm. obviously not everybody is that lucky, and so we try to raise money and awareness to help people who maybe don't have those resources that we have. But um, to raise money and to raise awareness, you're doing absolutely. something called Dash for Smiles. Correct. Tell me a little bit about Dash for Smiles and why it's so important to you. Well, the Dash for Smiles was created by three moms of mm -hmm. cleft affected children here in the Denver area. It is the only um, 5K event that is specifically for local children with cleft lip and palate. And we are on our seventh year. So, Yay, so successful. Up, Pretty successful, yes, every year we get bigger. Um, so coming up in a couple of weeks, we have our seventh annual 5K event. It's very family friendly. We have huge teams of people that come out supporting, you know, if they have a ch child in their family that's mm -hmm. cleft affected, they kind of rally around that kid and build a team. So um, we have uh, been fortunate enough to raise a lot of money and awareness for local kids. When and where is it this year? This year it is Sunday, July 30th. Mm -hmm. It is at the Stapleton Central Park at 8.30 in the morning. Registration, if you don't register online ahead of time, which you can, opens at seven if you wanna come and register in person. So we'll be there bright and early, Sunday morning, two Sundays from now. Good, okay, you can register right now. And if you wanna find out more information, go dashforsmiles.org. That's dashforsmiles.org. And again, the Dash 5K, how does it help the children that are born with a cleft palate or cleft lip? Well, over the past six years, we've raised $69,000 wow, for Children's Hospital and Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. And that goes directly to children and families. It helps with um, special bottles that are needed for feeding. It helps um, with surgeries. It helps with therapies around speech and um, dental procedures that they need. So it all stays local. It all stays right here. That is fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing Thank all the you. news, updating us, and each and every year doing the Dash That's for Smiles. Right. Grab your sneakers for the Dash for Smiles event. Again, it's Sunday, July 30th at 8.30 a.m. at Stapleton Central Park. Register online. Go dashforsmiles.org, dashforsmiles.org, or in person on the day of the event at beginning at 7 a.m. Follow along during the race on social media, too, by searching Dash for Smiles. It's going to be a fun family event.